All right, we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you how I make this easy, simple, spicy seafood boil. These are the ingredients for the potatoes, the corn, stock, and eggs. Those are basically the sides. I'll show you guys the seafood in just a minute, which is just shrimp and crab. <laughs> but to my pot, I'm gonna add all my potatoes, my corn. You can use whatever potatoes you choose to use. I had fingerlings, so those are the ones I'm using. And the corn came just like this. I bought everything from the Kroger supermarket. Next, I'm gonna add my stock or broth. You can also use water if you don't have the broth, it's fine. Just make sure you season the water uh, like I'm doing here. All right, so these are the ingredients for the other half. I have my green seasoning, which is very spicy. Old Bay, garlic powder, onion powder, onions, peppers, garlic, and dewy sausage, and my blue, two blue crabs, <laughs> and a pound of shrimp. So I'm gonna start searing off the sausage because I, I want it to be nice and caramelized and have a nice crust on it and it's gonna add more flavor. Now the reason why I'm searing off the sausage and I'm also gonna sear off the peppers is basically this is where your sauce starts so everything i'm doing now is just going to make the sauce even better because of all the residual flavor that's going to be in the pot so once i remove my sausage i added the peppers and i'm going to saute that for another 10 minutes Alright, so now I'm going to add my onions and my garlic. I used the whole entire big old giant bulb of garlic. It's about 12 to 14 cloves of garlic. And that's an entire onion, just a medium onion. And you want to saute that, look at all that flavor that's already all over the onions. So this is why I seared the sausage. So now you're going to start adding your butter. Um, so far, it's... I'm on stick number three, so it's three sticks of butter so far, and I don't know if I'm going to use the fourth stick. Remember, this is a butter sauce, so don't start. It's a butter sauce. <laughs> um, now I'm going to add a huge tablespoon of my green seasoning, which is just going to put the flavor all up and throughout this butter sauce. I'm going to season it with the Old Bay, the Tony's, the onion powder, garlic powder, and I'm going to let it continue to simmer. All right, so next I'm gonna add some of the broth from the pot that had the corn and potatoes, as, as well as two tablespoons of brown sugar and some more green seasoning. Now this is why I tell you guys to always taste your food. I wanted it to be more spicy, so I added more of the green seasoning. Uh, this batch that I made was pretty strong with the heat. <laughs> um, however, I do have a recipe for it, so I'll make sure I put it down below. Next, I added the juice of two whole lemons down in here, and that's pretty much it. The sauce is done, and um, it's really good. So now I'm going to add the seafood, and I'm going to cover this and let it cook five minutes. Don't y'all overcook the seafood now. Five minutes, that's it. Okay, leave it alone, cover it, let it do, let it do its thing, and pretty much that's it. Perfectly cooked, five minutes. All right, so I removed the seafood from the pot and now I'm gonna pour over the butter sauce all over the sausage, the peppers, the potatoes and the corn and I'm gonna mix this up. Now, earlier when I showed you guys, I built the sauce before I added the seafood and that's cause I wanted to be able to taste it. Most of you OG subscribers, <laughs> 
know that I'm allergic to all shellfish. I can't taste eat it. So I had to make sure the sauce was good before I added the seafood down in there. And this is what it looks like. And y'all, having a shellfish allergy has to be one of the worst things that could happen to a human. <laughs> but it looks great. It looks fabulous. And um, I hope you guys give it a try. If you do, tag me and let me know what you think. And I'll catch you on my next video. Bye, you guys.